4K. Hello and happy Friday, friends. Welcome to another episode of 4K News and Brews. With your hosts, Allison and Sophia. We are rounding out week four for the 4K riders and celebrating the end of our runners' very first week of 4K. Woohoo! Now that we've got runners in the mix, let's take it over to Matt Dijak, 4K for Cancer program manager and ultra runner extraordinaire for some fueling advice for our runners. What's up, 4Kers? Matt Dijak here, giving you uh, my tips and tricks for hydration and fueling this summer on the 4K. This is take two of my video. My first one was way too long, so I'm going to try to condense it a bit on this one. So when we talk about fueling, getting ready for runs and rides, you know, everyone has their own system. So this is just some things from my experience cycling and running that hopefully there'll be some good takeaways for you. So big thing, figure out initially just what you need in terms of hydration, eating, before, during um, a run especially. So for example, for me personally, I know that if I'm just going out the door to do three to five, six or seven miles, I don't really need to eat anything. It's just going to mess up my stomach. But if I'm doing longer runs that are 12, 13 miles plus, I'm going to wake up, eat a breakfast, bagel, banana, some coffee, give myself time to digest that hour, an hour and a half before I get on the road running. So just figure out what you'll need um, to get going. For bike rides, you just eat a piece of fruit in the morning, then get out there and ride just because my stomach can handle that a bit easier. For runs for me that are going to be 15 plus miles, I'll bring food and water with me. I'll bring a snack, whether that's a goo, a fig bar, something like that. And for rides, I'll also bring a snack if I'm doing 40 plus miles. I've gotten to a pretty good system um, for me that's just drinking every two miles on a run, starting right off the bat with mile zero and then starting with mile two. Um, and then for a bike ride, I'll try to drink every five miles or so, so that way I'm staying hydrated, I'm good to go, and I'll also bring a snack, like I said, if I'm doing 40 plus miles. So when it comes to eating and drinking out there, uh, what sort of things to do? I found that foods for me that are high in sodium and solid foods work better. I've done plenty of different types of goos in the past and I found that sometimes it is more upset my stomach in the long run. So I've been sticking a lot to fig bars, um, personally like Nature's Bakery. Or if there's an option for goos that are a bit less sugary, um, the Goo Roctane usually has more amino acids, some caffeine, higher sodium content. Um, some of the flavors actually taste a bit better too, I think. So those kind of work better for me in the long run. Either that or I'll just bring solid food with me like a banana for a bike ride um, or any other granola bar too. But when it comes to fueling this summer, there's so many different things out there. Um, in terms of just supplements with goo, there's normal goo, there's honey stinger, hammer gel, boom is one of my personal favorites. They have some awesome varieties, some denser uh, forms that are going to be more fat heavy. So kind of some slower burning fuel if you're doing a longer, slower bike ride or longer, slower run out there. So definitely check those out. There's Spring Gel, there's Cliff, there's Kipchoge's Martin Gel, which he used for his uh, two-hour marathon attempt when he went under two hours. Nick Simmons has Run Gum. In terms of drinks, there's Tailwind, Hammer, Scratch, or just normal Gatorade powder you can mix in or purchase. A lot of ultra marathons go with uh, Tailwind just because they find that people say it's easier on their stomach. I personally like Noon. I think that always works really well. And then if you really want to get kind of technical, if you're worried about your sodium level, uh, Salt Stick makes salt tablets. You can get those. I personally have never tried them, but I've heard good things. So with solid food, so many options out there. You can make your own snacks like Scott Jurek does. You can also go with Nature Bakery, my personal favorite. Other things like Cliff Bars, Luna Bar, um, Kind Bar, anything like that usually gets the job done for people. Trail Butter, I haven't tried it. I really want to. It looks awesome. Um, but overall, just for me, I found that solid food has been working a bit better than some of the supplements. Uh, but really, whatever you put in, as long as you know it's going to agree with your stomach, as long as you're consuming water with it, your body usually needs two to three grams of water for every one gram of carbs that you consume. So just keep that in mind to keep pounding the fluids also while you're out there and figure out some sort of system uh, for eating and drinking during your runs as well. So just some of my final tips. Uh, fueling really starts one to two weeks out. So make sure leading up to your long runner ride five to ten days out, you're putting in the carbs, you're putting in the calories that you need since you're going to deplete your system, burn them off. So just be cognizant of that as you're leading up to your long runner ride. Um, my favorite 
foods to fuel with are oatmeal, brown rice, kale, spinach, and beets. Beets especially. I read some random article saying that beets are really good for you for endurance athletes. And ever since then, knock on wood, I haven't had a poor race or a poor performance after I've had beets. So see what happens there. Uh, but really just figure out what, what works best for you, what works best for your stomach, whether it's getting up early and eating something even before short runs, um, or if it's just getting out and you know you'll be fine just hitting the road um, a couple minutes before um, you know you need to be out there running. So give it a test run, see what happens, and be sure to treat yourself after. That's something that I think can just go long term, making you enjoy the experience a heck of a lot more if you got something to look forward to after your run or ride. So those are my brief tips. This video is probably a third of what I just recorded, so hopefully you guys get something out of that. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Thanks, Matt. And now, as always, let's kick it over to Brock for our joke of the week. Hey, 4Kers, Brock at Omen with your joke of the week. In honor of our 4K runners starting their virtual one this week, we have a running joke. Did you hear about the race between the lettuce and the tomato? The lettuce was ahead and the tomato was trying to catch up. Thanks, Brock. Always top tier jokes. We've got a special treat this week. One of our house residents, Will, is getting to go home and we had a sane good pie celebration. Take a look. So I'm leaving the Ullman house today in Baltimore, Maryland, and uh, the staff offered for me to pie them in the face. So enjoy. So we are gonna say goodbye, but now you're gonna say good pie. <laughs> <laughs> Get it all up in there. Yeah, it tastes gonna be real good. <laughs> <laughs> Rub it in. Uh. <laughs> he is very cold. Walk towards my voice. Oh, wait, I can't. Straight. 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 <laughs> Last one. <laughs> I need another one on that. Uh. You need that one on that. I can do it, do it. <laughs> Fun. Now just go at each other with it. <laughs> Why is that so satisfying? Oh my god. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Looks like fun. Now off to a fan favorite, Mike Mendelson for the weather. Hello, 4 Kers. This is Mike Mendelson here. Uh, here with your weather update. So, whoa, my mustache. Shit. Well, we were expecting 10 full days of rain and we have not gotten that. So that's a positive of the day. Our four cares are in this state. I'll give you a hint. There's no place like home. You're in Kansas and not just Kansas. You are in the little apple Manhattan, Kansas, which is home to Kansas State University as well as um, according to Wikipedia, a great place to live. See you next week. I'm Mike Mendelson. Always a pleasure, Mike. Last Saturday, our cyclists participated in a pride ride, and here's one of our highlights. And that's all for this week. Thanks for tuning in, and as always, cancer changes lives. So do we.